All right. I don't know if I'm gonna get through this without crying for sure not. Uh, <laughs> Got it. All right. All right, this smile and the same smile that has been on my face for the last 10 years can tell you exactly what my heart feels and what needs to be said. I've never been the same since the day we went on our first date. You've given me the greatest gift in life. So, someone, someone to love, a best friend. Keegan, where do I even begin to explain what you mean to me? It's near impossible to encapsulate our almost 11 years together on a single sheet of paper. I can't believe that I get to be your wife. I'm truly the luckiest woman in the entire world. When our paths first crossed a decade ago, I just thought you were some country kid with a southern draw and a crooked smile who constantly thought about hunting and fishing. But you're so much more than that. I know that Kristen is not physically here today, but I thank her every day because she's the reason that we are so strong together. <laughs> she reminds you to live life to the fullest and to never take anything for granted. On behalf of Keegan and Lauren, I would like to thank you all for being here this evening. Lauren and Keegan have invited you all here to this beautiful place to show you a glimpse of an important piece of their love and to share with you their journey through life. I truly can't think of a better venue than this place for you two to finally get married. For it was almost 10 years ago in this same place that you were celebrating your high school graduation together. You have given me a love that I'm not sure if I deserve, but I'm vow to continue to work to become the be your best friend, partner, and husband that you do deserve. I vow to fight for you, defend you, be your biggest fan. Our relationship is truthfully my greatest accomplishment. And when I'm old and all used up, I hope that I, I'm, I go first because I couldn't imagine this life without you. You are my love and my heart belongs to you. I have kept every letter that you've ever written me throughout our years together. And on June 5th, 2009, you wrote, I think about the past and how great it has been. And I think about our future. Even though it may be hard, I believe in us. If two people really love each other, they can achieve anything. So let's keep achieving. I know that our future is so, so bright. I love you. by the power vested in me by the internet. It is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Keegan, you may now kiss the bride. October of 2008, I had come to Austin uh, to do the 5K cancer walk with Kristen. We were on our way, and Kristen says, oh, I'm going to be sick. And I said, do you want to go home? And she goes, no, we need to go cheer Keegan on, and you need to meet Lauren. And I go, who's Lauren? And she goes, Keegan's future wife. 
And it was in that moment that I knew tonight was inevitable, that one day we would all be here celebrating you two, because Keegan's fiercely protected big sister had given her smile of approval and was gonna let another girl help her hold the baton. I've mastered the art of snooping through my sister's things. <laughs> when I was about 10, I remember finding Lauren's diary <laughs> filled with pages of various baby names with the last name Faudry tagged onto the end. <laughs> So it's definitely reassuring that she knew he was the one for this song. <laughs> You have taught us all so much. Getting to see your older sister so comfortable in her skin and living life so confidently is inspiring and reminds us we can do that too. Today is a remarkable celebration of 10 years of anticipation. Today we celebrate the love for Keegan and Lauren. 